There are a lot of cool AI voiceover software out there. One of them called DubDub recently reached out to me to check out their tool. So yeah, let's take a look. They seem to have AI voice models from all over the world with different accents. So essentially anyone can get exactly what they're looking for. I'm just gonna sign up. You'll sign up for free and you will get some free trial period here. So it'll ask you a couple of questions like what is your targeted field? Uh, I'm just gonna pick YouTube, which is basically what I do. What kind of voices do you need? Let's say male, female. Oh, there are a lot more. Um, I usually do like maybe you no know, narrative style videos. You could also pick like a deep voice. I guess explainer would be nice. And here's a general product question, you know, feedback from you pretty much. What do you look for in a TTS software or a text-to-speech software? Of course, it has to sound like a human being first and it should be easy to use. There should be a few options to choose from and some settings to fix the mistakes. And voice cloning, oh, that would be cool. Essentially, it'll build a custom AI model that clones my voice. So you can generate and download three voiceovers. Let's take a overview of this first. So that's where you type stuff. You can add a few annotations and things to that. That's where you preview it. These are the different settings you can add to accentuate it better. That's the voice model selector. Oh, there are quite a lot. There's even a filter to choose the exact type of speaker you want. And they even have some tone of voice. Pretty cool. And if you want, you can generate a preview here or directly export it. This is their default ready-made template. You know, let's see how it sounds. DubDub Voice Studio is a powerful and AI-based voice editor committed to helping audio and video creators work more efficiently. So this Jensen Moore model is an American accent character and yeah, it does sound decent. Let me see if I can pick something else. You can even filter based on exactly what you're looking for. So let's say I want a British accent based voice model, mainly for a documentary. Um, we can select like a youth. All right, this is our result, Rowley. Let's see how they sound. For a long time, I did not want to tell this story, but after two years, I must now write about what happened. That actually sounds pretty good. Yeah, let's use this. And well, before using, I'm just gonna upgrade. Uh, DubDub has actually given me a free upgrade for a year. So I'm just gonna apply the code they have given me. And there we go. Now I have the professional plan. Right then, now I'll write some stuff. I mean, I can write it myself, but I'll just use chat GPT because I'm lazy at this point. All right, we have some basic text here. Pretty simple stuff to, you know, give a narration or a voiceover. Let's see how this model does. An AI text-to-speech software is a type of software that converts written text into spoken words. It uses artificial intelligence and natural language processing algorithms to synthesize speech in a way that closely resembles the way humans speak. Oh, it even has the ups and downs that we typically have, you know, what do you call those? The tone of your voice changes. I mean, if you speak in a single same tone, it's called monotonous. I'm not sure what else this is called, where you have highs and lows when you're speaking. So it has that naturally. I didn't do any changes and by default, it sounds pretty good. Nice. I mean, this is exactly what I was looking for. Well, I guess we could do a few changes. Let's see how it handles customized words like, for example, human names. Now, my name isn't a typical English name, right? So let's see how it pronounces this. I'm just going to use the settings so you can actually make it sound different. You can change the phonetics of certain words and it even gives you suggestions on how to pronounce it. Let's try and use one of these suggestions and see what it sounds like. Hello, I am Hemant 2. Ah, an AI text-to-speech software is a type of software it's not exactly what I was looking for. Looks like it doesn't allow you to you know, use anything with a period in between. So I, I want this to be pronounced as 2.0. But since there is a full stop or a period in between, it's thinking that these are two separate sentences, which is not right. So I guess uh, DubDub team, that can use some work. You know, the period, I should be able to select it and apply a, one of these settings across it without the AI thinking it's two separate sentences. I mean, it's fine, but still, when the human is stepping in to make a change, it should allow us to do whatever we want, you know. So for now, I'll just use the alias method. I mean, whenever a foreigner struggles to say my name, I suggest they say it like that. That's a pretty close representation of how to actually say my name. So let's see how it does. Hello, I am Haymonth 2.0, not the original disappointment. I'm never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. That's exactly what I wanted it to sound. So by playing around with the words, I got it. So if I want, I can export this now as uh, WAV or even MP4 with subtitles. Let's try that. So I'll hit export. Apparently you can export 30 times a day with this license. That's pretty awesome. I don't think anyone needs that much, but cool. Okay, it's pretty fast actually. Maybe because it's a very short sentence. There we go. We have our file. Hello, I am Haymonth 2.0, not the original disappointment. I'm never gonna give you up. 
never gonna let you down. Oh nice, it comes with a green screen so you can kind of overlay it on your video. It synchronizes with your voice which is nice but it does have the same thing that you've typed. So I don't want the 2.0 to say like that. I wish I could edit that after the fact but it won't say it properly. So yeah, it could use some work but still, this is pretty great for the first try. I can't apply an alias to the entire word which I wish it could change. I'm sure that's something the dubdub team can work on going forward. They also have transcription services, that's cool, you know, that's where they take an existing video and they generate subtitles for it. You can directly paste a link, so I'm just gonna take one of my video links and uh, paste it here and click on transcribe. Damn, look at it go, it's really fast. Okay, so that's the transcription, looks fine. I see a few mistakes, but that's okay. I mean, the video already has a pre-generated thing, you know, pre-generated subtitle, let's compare the two. I mean the auto-generated one, yeah, it doesn't have any punctuation whatsoever. Whereas the AI-generated one, yeah, it has a few things it could improve, but it has subtitles, it has the, you know, spacing out. So it is better formatted for sure. So you can directly copy that and paste it on your video. Just like that, you have properly spaced subtitles. Anyway, the main thing we are focusing on is the voice generation stuff, and you saw how great it was, right? You can even have multiple voice models in a single, like a long paragraph of text. So you can have like a, a dialogue between two to three characters. There are different tones to choose from, different emotions. And it's pretty simple to use as you saw. You know, just write down your text. And once you preview it, you can download it directly as a lossless WAV file or as a video file with subtitles. And they have given you an exclusive discount as well for watching this video. If you use the link in the description, you'll get 15% off with this code. I mean, this is certainly one of the better voice generation tools I've seen and the prices seem pretty reasonable. I mean, after all, they are just getting started, so it's only going up from here. So go ahead, check out the link in the description and use the code GEEK15OFF. Thanks again to DubDub for providing me this preview and for giving you that discount. Go ahead and check it out and let me know what you think.